So we're back at the Monaco Animal Shelter. We were here last week as the amnesty was announced and it's been running for about a week now. And here is Jeff Kieber. Now, Jeff, you are the... Manager of Animal Management for Auckland Council. All right, so just firstly, how has it actually been working, the process with the amnesty? The process has been working fantastic for us. We It has exceeded our expectations so far. How many? We've got it, at the moment, we've got about 123 dogs on a waiting list to be desexed, microchipped and registered. Cool, so that list, how does it work if I, say, have a dog that I want registered? So, if somebody wants their dog registered or desexed or microchipped, uh, they should ring us on uh, our council numbers on 3010101, or we've got an 0800 number, 0800 462 685. That will go through to somebody who will take the dog owner's details and uh, that will get passed on to us in animal management. We will then contact them and place them on a waiting list, discuss whether their dog is right to be desexed, uh, microchipped. Uh, and then from there, once we've got a date for them to uh, have their dog desexed, then we will contact them back and make the arrangements for the booking, for them to be come in and have it done. So this is a lot more than you thought there was going to be in the first week, yeah? Oh, absolutely. We were hoping, uh, if we got 100 to 200 dogs over the 10-week amnesty period, that we would be really happy. We thought that that would make an impact on the lives of uh, people in Auckland, but to have 123 in the first week alone uh, is well beyond uh, our expectations and quite frankly I'm really stoked about that. If this keeps up though, are you going to be able to, to get through the list? Because I understand there is a list now and you weren't even really expecting that, were you? One way or another we will get through the list if we have to engage extra services to help us get through that list. Because this is about Aucklanders and this is about um, helping people be great dog owners, have great dogs and dogs living in harmony with people in Auckland and minimising that risk around the bites. The people though that have been coming in and you know, opting for it, why are they saying that they didn't do it before? We haven't had a whole lot of... Uh, feedback in relation to that but we know that a lot of these people have low uptake with authority um, and low engagement with authority and we think a lot of this has been coming from word of mouth some people have had great service and so it's hey you should take advantage of that and go and see these guys and and that's fantastic word of mouth is precious and because it's only the the registration they waive the fee but it's it's $25 is it for the rest yeah Are people doing that the desexing and, and yeah. the rest of it or just the no, if they're doing they're doing the works. They're opting to have the desexing, the microchipping, and the registration. Some people whose dogs are already desexed, uh, they they are choosing to take the registration and the microchipping as well. Um, we're also looking at giving them a muzzle to keep their dogs um, safe when they're out in public as well. Cool. And I just want to talk about what's going to happen after the amnesty period, which is end of June finishes? Yeah, 30th of June the amnesty finish, or finishes. So then there's a, this crackdown. What's going to be different about the crackdown than, say, right now if my dog's not registered and found on the street? So the amnesty is the opportunity for people to come forward, obviously. Um, and so they kind of get a warning and a leeway. But after, after the 30th of June, there's going to be no leeway. The, we're going to be impounding these dogs. We're going to be making sure that um, these dogs are off the street and if people want them back then they will have to pay full price to have what they are doing now. All right, so, but when we were here last week you said that you were quite full already, or Zarina said you were quite full already, and if you're taking in more dogs are you going to be able to fit them? Yeah, we'll be able to fit them. We've got three shelters around Auckland. Uh, we've actually got four shelters around Auckland uh, that we can use, and so if that means a bit of shuffling around of dogs then we will do that. Cool, hey lovely. Anything else you want to say to people who are maybe considering it or haven't done this or have done it? If I absolutely encourage people to come forward and take advantage of this amnesty because we don't want to take people's dogs off them uh, and that we will be doing after 1 July if they don't come forward. It's a great deal. It probably will not happen again. Take advantage of it now. Give us a call. And what are the breeds that are coming in? Are they pit bulls? Are they purebred pit bulls or crosses? Or what are you mainly seeing? The majority of dogs that we're seeing at the moment are pit bull crosses, pit bulls, uh, not many pure breeds. Uh, we've got, uh, we've had some Labrador crosses mixed with bull terrier types, some Sharpe crosses. Uh, but in saying that, any dog that can cause harm or people are concerned about, come into a shelter and talk to our staff and we can go through it with them. Have you had to turn any away for not being dangerous enough? Because there is a threshold, eh? Yeah, unfortunately we have had some people from uh, uh, 
parts of Auckland who have come in and wanting their purebred dogs de-sexed, uh, and, and that's not the aim. Those dogs are less likely to cause harm. And, uh, so we want the dogs that are most likely to cause harm. Um, this is not breed specific, bring your dog in, we'll have a look at your dog and give you some advice.